In this video, we'll show you an overview of the Roll20 Dice Roller. Let's start with the basics. The Dice Roller is located on the left side of the screen in the toolbar. It's the one with the D20 icon. When you hover over this icon, a table will appear. This table shows all the rolls you can make with just one click. Any roll you can make from this table will show up in chat. On the left side of the table are the types of dice you can roll, from a D4 to a D100. If you want to roll just one of these dice, simply click on the one you want. Now, if you want to roll more than one of a certain type of dice, click a number between 2 and 5 next to the die you want. This will roll that many of the chosen dice. So if your game master says, roll 3 D6, go down to the D6 and click the number 3 in that row. Great! All these rolls will show up in chat with a breakdown of each dice rolled. Okay, that's easy. But what are those quick options at the top? Starting on the left is the GM button. Let's say your GM asks you for a roll and you only want them to see it. First, click on the GM button and then click your roll. The results will only be seen by you and your GM. The two brackets are for inline rolls. So if you want your rolls to be more compact and just show the total in chat, click the double brackets before rolling. The total will show up in chat and if you want to see the breakdown of the roll, you can hover over it with your mouse. The exclamation point is used for exploding dice. In some game systems, if you roll a d6 for example, and the roll is the max, so you roll a 6, then you get to roll another d6. If you keep rolling d6s, you get to keep rolling. The two exclamation points are compounded exploding. So in games like Shadowrun, all those extra dice are added together into a single total roll. Now the exclamation point with the letter P is for games like Hackmaster, where each additional exploding die, a one is subtracted from it. Finally, the fudge roll rolls a three-sided dice with either a negative one, a zero, or a one. This is usually used in the Fate game system. It's important to note that once you click on one of these choices, it will stay selected until you click it again. So unless you want all your dice to be exploding, make sure to click off of it. Now if you want even more advanced options, simply click on the D20 icon in the toolbar, or hover over it and click Advanced Dice Roller at the bottom of the table. This window gives you a few more options when rolling, including basic single rolls and the last 10 rolls. The Advanced Dice Roller in Roll History is really good for games that don't have character sheets. Also, if you're new to Roll20, it might be a good idea to leave this window open. Now, under Advanced Roll, you can change the number of dice you want to roll, the type of die from the dropdowns, and add any modifiers as well. So if we want to cast Fireball, it's just that easy. Now we talked a little earlier about exploding dice, but in Advanced Features, under Exploding Dice, you can set a target number. So say you're running Shadowrun and you're rolling 4d6 compounded exploding dice and you have to roll higher than a 9 to succeed. You can set the target number to 9, make sure Compounded Shadowrun style is selected, and you're all set. Click the pink Roll button and your roll will show up in chat. Great! You're all ready to start rolling your dice. Hover over the toolbar when necessary or keep the advanced dice roller up during your game.